I just so loved getting to work with Black Diamond because they're so creative and fun and I could add all these like super fun features and kind of beef up what was already a really awesome mix. Spark Angel Finger is a new style for us this year. We've got an under the cuff three finger glove. Angel really wanted the dexterity of a glove, but the warmth of a mitt. We added more insulation on the back and more insulation on the palm than our regular Spark gloves and mitts, but we kept the great goat skin shell as well as the bead and dry insert for waterproofness. To top it off, we beefed up the abrasion protection on the index finger with another patch of goat skin for buckling and unbuckling. To me, one of my favorite undercover features is the Angel Proof Leash because it's one less thing to drop off the chairlift or on the slope somewhere. And I also love the um, neoprene cuff because it makes it so easy to get in and out when your hands are wet and snowy. Hi, I'm John from Outdoor Research, here today to talk to you about the Centurion Glove. These are the gloves your next backcountry day needs for Gore-Tex trusted waterproof breathability. Built with resilient, lightweight Enduraloft insulation, the Centurion keeps your hands warm on the outside, while a soft fleece interior keeps them cozy on the inside. Available in both men's and women's styles, these colorful gloves offer a pop of pigment as you're charging up the steep and deep, but also promise durability with their Alpengrip LT palms. Pull-on loops and gusseted wrist entry provide easy accessibility and undercuff construction keeps your hands warm and dry inside your jacket while tapered wrists keep your gloves in place. Pick up the Centurion gloves for the perfect combination of comfort and performance for your next snowy adventure. Keeping warm is one of the most important things when you're outdoors. So it's no surprise we often get asked what our warmest glove is. Before answering, we need to talk a bit about hands and gloves in general. The first thing to keep in mind in cold weather is your body's natural process of prioritizing vital organs such as your heart. This means your extremities are the first to cool down. In other words, your hands and feet are the first to get sacrificed from reduced blood circulation. So, Warm hands require a warm body. Therefore, a good way to keep hands and feet warm is to wear a hat and an extra sweater. If your hands get cold, you will soon be severely restricted. Frigid hands fumble, limiting your ability to handle equipment, zippers, skis, and safety gear like rope and carabiners. This is our warmest glove, designed for arctic conditions, made from durable goat skin and lined with wool. It traps a lot of air and provides outstanding insulation. But, as you probably realize, it's not the best choice for keeping warm under normal conditions. In order to generate maximum warmth, you will have to compromise on flexibility. In fact, several factors should be considered when choosing a glove. The environment and weather conditions, the type of activity, and the need for flexibility. Rather than relying on one specific glove to do the work, we recommend dressing in layers. We believe in the layering principle, which means wearing different clothing with each item having a specific function. We apply this principle to our gloves. A thin liner closer to your skin generates roughly 20% extra warmth. Wearing a liner also provides great protection against contact cold. It's often a good idea to add a shell on top of the liner in your regular glove. This will increase warmth by as much as 50%. We call this the Hestra glove system. When you need to do precision work, simply remove the top gloves and keep your liner on. In short, liner, regular glove, shell. Three layers. It's the best way to keep your hands warm and flexible.
We were really chasing after what we could do for a high performance ski glove that would stay dry, grippy, and durable. Tridex Construction, which is a proven Arc'teryx innovation, is applied to the new fabric package in the Lithic Glove. It allows us to seam tape all three of those seams without adding bulk or stiffness. It removes extra seams from the sides of the glove and allows us to individually articulate all of the fingers in the glove. One of the main things that I noticed about this lithic glove is the Tridex construction and the way that it keeps your hand in a really awesome position. When we're skiing and we're climbing our lines, we're scrambling in the rocks or punching it up boot packs through the snow. And just to have a glove that's going to be in a good shape to, to hold your skis or to grab a horn on the rocks or to hold your ski pole even. The TPU that we apply to the surface of the Gore-Tex material adds a level of durability and grip. It's targeted in the areas where we see patterns of wear over time, right into the seams to reinforce the seams, along the fingertips where there's high wear areas and where you really need that grip. One of the factors that really plays into the ability to grip things hard with a glove is not having all of the layers on the palm of your glove shift around on top of each other. The insulations are typically really slippery. The Prima Loft insulation we have on the inside of this glove is branded grip control. We actually bond that layer in isolated areas to the shell of the glove, so when you grab onto something, the glove's not moving around. This winter in Fernie, we had an awesome morning after 30 cm's plus of great pow snow, and by lunchtime, the temps totally spiked and things got really warm really fast. But the lithic glove is so hydrophobic, you know, the thing about it is if your hands get wet, it means your day is coming to an end. And that doesn't happen with this glove. I love the Spark Mitten. Been skiing in it for a bunch of years now. So working with Black Diamond and the design team, coming up with a fun colorway and adding some new features was super fun. Johnny's mitts are a beefed up version of our regular Spark mitts. It's got the same goat skin leather shell, BD dry insert for waterproofness, and Primaloft gold insulation on the front and the back. We did add an extra leather patch on the finger for buckling and unbuckling your boots, as well as extra EVA in the back of the thumb in case you bash into a tree or a rock on the way down. Another feature that I really love is just the simple wrist leash, just keeps you from dropping your glove added a neoprene slide-in cuff, so when you got sweaty hands, it's easier to put it on in the backcountry. Um, and added these raven's feet, because, you know, Odin's ravens are thought and memory. You travel all around the world with him, so you gotta keep your thought and memory. Hi, my name is Lauren Taylor, and I am the Associate Product Manager for Accessories here at Outdoor Research. And today I'm gonna tell you about the first aerogel gloves to outdoor market, the Bitter Blaze Aerogel Glove and the Women's Ure Aerogel Glove. Aerogel is actually used by NASA in their space modules and their suits. Primaloft found a way to encapsulate it in this small, thin, one and a half millimeter layer, which is so exciting because we can now use it in compression resistant areas like the palms of our hands and the soles of our feet. How this hasn't been used in the outdoors before is beyond me, but we're so excited to bring into accessories into the outdoor market. Let's get into some of the features of these gloves. Not only are they IFMGA guide tested and certified, they have sport end use that varies from ice climbing lead Nordic and spring skiing. So for the Bitter Blaze Aerogel Glove, this is a unisex style, sizes extra small through extra large. It features a nylon twill stretch back of hand. It also has 133 grams of Primaloft gold on back of hand, as well as the 1.5 millimeter aerogel along the entire palm and fingers of the hand. This has 133 gram Primaloft at the back of hand for added warmth on top of the aerogel palm along the fingers and thumb as well. The style also has a petard's goat leather oil tech palm, which is awesome for gripping, especially in icy scenarios. It has reinforcement of goat leather over the thumb and pinky areas where you have the most abrasion as well. Also, this fits beautifully under jacket cuffs. It has an undercuff construction with a hook loop cuff tab. So you're probably wondering, why did we make such a similar glove, but specifically for women? Well, we listened and we heard our female customers and athletes loud and clear. 
You wanted a patterned glove to fit a woman's hand and more warmth for alpine use and specifically ice climbing. And here it is, the Women's URA Aerogel Glove. We worked with our female athlete ambassadors and went through several protos of this puppy to make sure that it is perfect for our female athletes, climbers, customers, first timers, everyone who would possibly want to wear this glove. Not only did we add an added 333 grams of Primaloft Gold insulation to the back of hand for that added warmth, but we have the added pre-curve and we fit this across several different female hands to make sure that the fit is perfect. Similar to the Bitter Blaze, we have a beautiful cuff, undercuff construction, has the oil tack Petard's goat leather palm, really nice pre-curve in the fingers, great for holding an ice axe, a nylon twill back of hand, Pop logos, carabiner loop, and a really nice elasticated wrist. Both gloves have Gore-Tex waterproof properties combined with the technology of aerogel at the palm, making this an ideal glove. New for fall 18, the Bitter Blaze aerogel glove and the Women's Uray aerogel glove.